Okay guys, so I'm gonna start looking for the paint for the car. And since a lot of you want me to do it with the, with the spray paint, um, I'm gonna do so. I know a lot of you guys um, want me to do it with the with the spray gun, but I might be doing it with the spray one with the spray gun many times already. So there's a, a couple of you that you know don't have a garage or a place to paint it with the compressor or a gun, so. So I'm gonna do it for you guys. So I'm looking for the paint code. The paint code is gonna be down here. I don't know if you guys can see. It says paint. There we go. Paint L041 for the 2013 BW Passat. for the wind guys so yeah now let's go online and see if I could get the the spray cans from Duplicolor perfect match and they sell those at or any O'Reilly's there we go they sell them at, at O'Reilly's or out of some something quick that you guys could do at your home and nothing fancy nothing you know pretty hard to do so yeah we're gonna go look for the paint coat. I mean, we got the paint coat. We're gonna look for the paint, go buy the paint, and go from there. Okay, guys, so now we need to go to Duplicolor Paints. There we go, duplicolor.com. Um, and this is the paints that they carry. So most of the, like I said, AutoZone and O'Reilly's will have these, these um, spray cans. So let's hit duplicolor.com. And right here, let's go down, fix my scratch, vehicle, don't go on the vehicle, press the color code. And remember, it was L041. That's that's the paint code for the car. So your car, you need to look for the paint code. You don't know where the code is at, just go online and search for the your specific car and um, paint code location and they should guide you. You should find a couple of places that will tell you where the the paint code location is at. So once you find it, put it in this section where it says color code and fix my scratch. So if 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 they have it, duplicate has it, it'll show up. If not, they will tell you that well they don't have it. Okay, so there we go. They have it. Let me see what select model model. It doesn't show the Passat, but it should be the same. It's the same code, so we should be good. Let's press on that. Schwartz 041. There we go. Right there, the picture shows it blue, but that's not the the actual one so what you're what's more important is the 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 color right here it's black and then the the paint code which is l041 places that you're gonna have so maybe autozone or o'reilly's is not there locally where you're at but then advanced auto parts car quest autozone canadian tire napa o'reilly's pet boys auto stores and i don't know what that is h n h ABC Auto, Amazon.com, American Muscle, Auto Barn, Auto Plus, and I'm pretty sure eBay is gonna have it and all that stuff. But you know, something pretty quick is just try to look find it locally at your stores. If you don't find it locally, then you you know try looking further, like in online and stuff like that. So there we go, guys. Now I know that the code, I know the paint. I got an AutoZone and an O'Reilly's here locally in Napa, but Napa's going to be closed. Today is Sunday. So, yeah, guys, that's the way you find it. And um, I'm going to head to my local AutoZone or O'Reilly's, depending, you know, maybe AutoZone won't have it, but um, or O'Reilly's. But if they don't, then I'm just going to have to wait. So, yeah, guys, that's the way you find the code and find the paint. Once you already know the code and the name of the paint, go get it. See you guys in a bit. 
Okay guys, so here we are. I'm using this primer. That's the primer I had left over from the um, from the Ford Edge um, bumper. So I still got enough. Then the base coat and the clear coat. So the next step is to primer the, it's already primered, the, the fender. Let me get this is the bump, I mean the fender. Brand new. So like I said, it's primered, possibly, but it's black primer. And um, I don't wanna leave it black because it's gonna make the, the base coat look a lot darker than, than what it is, what it's supposed to be. And you'll see a difference between this and the rest of the car. Cause this this is gonna be it's gonna look a lot more darker if, if um if I leave it with the black primer. So most of the cars have the gray primer, you could tell by the panels of the car. See? The gray. So to have a to have it match um the best is you know primer in, in the same color gray yeah, so let me, let me start right. doing that primer okay guys so we got the fender i'm gonna apply the first coat of primer here we go okay so i applied the primer i'm gonna let it dry for a bit okay guys so the primer is completely dry I'm gonna, it's already cleaned up, and I'm gonna apply the first coat of, of um, paint. Okay guys, so we're gonna apply the first coat, and before you even start painting the, the panel, um, just make sure you, the spray, um, the spray can is um, spraying evenly. It sits somewhere else, and, and, and once you hit, get the hang of it, um, and you think you're ready, just you start applying. So you just wanna, you just wanna do a, a kind of just uh, spray it a bit. The way I'm doing it. And try to hit every, every single spot. Try to get the the paint evenly. So you you get all the all the edges, everything. Cause later on it, they, they'll show. So we're gonna call that a first coat. Wait for that to dry and hit the okay second guys, coat. So we're gonna hit, give it the second coat. This time it's gonna be a bit heavier. Here we go. About six inches away. to hit all the same spots you hit at the beginning all of them because then like i said they will show if you don't hit everything once you open a door or or the hood or anything you might be able to see them and then you're going to have to repaint the whole the whole fender because if you do a spot and um if you're like me not a pro you might Mess, end up messing up the whole um, fender so right now is the time to hit everything 
So that's the second coat. I'm gonna wait for it to dry and and then give it the third coat. Okay guys, so the second coat is completely dry. Now we're gonna give it the third coat. Here we go. I'm um, gonna do it a little bit heavier than, than the second coat because it's gonna be our third and final. So try to make everything um, stay wet. Don't leave no dry um, areas as you go. Because those dry areas will make some type of lines. So just, just, just make sure everything is being covered completely. And that is, everything is, is getting um, spread evenly. And that everything is staying wet as you paint. So there we go guys that's the third coat so yeah that's it i'm gonna let it dry and see you guys in a bit okay guys so i placed it on top of the table just to get a better angle on the on the um on the fender because the way i had it right now it was really hard for the camera the camera to to um see the reflection and stuff like that so that's the first coat, I'm waiting for it to dry. And it's the same, the same principle as the base coat, you know, just keep on getting, giving, a, giving it a wet, a wet um, cover on all of it. About six inches away from the fender. And then let it dry. I just noticed something, I don't know if you could tell here on the camera, but there are some kind of lines. There's one, there's one around there. I don't know if you can see it. But just try to hit everything, like I said on the, with the, with the, with the base coat, just try to hit everything as possible. And try to keep the paint wet as you go. Overlapping at a, at least 50% um, of your first dump um, spray, just 50% overlap, and give it as most clear as you as you can. After you're done, and you know the the wet sanding and the polisher will take care of the rest. Okay, guys, it's dry. Now we're gonna give it the second coat. And here we go.
Okay guys, now we're ready for the third coat, third and final. Here we go. Let me start on this side. I'm going to get every angle, every corner. So we still got a little bit left. We're going to finish it all. That's it, guys. That's dirt and final. It's gonna let it dry for a while, maybe um, overnight. Then I'm gonna wet sand it and polish it. And we should see the end result. Okay guys, so the fender's dry. I'm gonna wet sand it pretty quick and then try to polish it to see how, how it looks. If I don't like it, I'm just gonna redo it again. Hopefully, everything comes out okay. Okay guys, I don't know if you guys could see it's a bit dull. This is wet sanded. Um, and I'm gonna play the polishing compound. Move to the polishing compound. Okay, so the compound is applied. And we're gonna start with 600 RPM and work our way up. Okay guys, so this is the how the fender turned out. Turned out pretty nice. So I didn't do the, the um, the polishing compound, what I did was the roving compound and because I did the, the the polishing compound at first and and then I followed it with this and that brought out the shine a lot more better so I still gotta hit it one more time but I can't really see even though it looks kind of clear here on the camera but it's kind of getting dark so I'm gonna call it a day but overall the fender turned out pretty good Turned out really nice. So yeah guys, um, next time I'm gonna be installing it in that car with the headlight and, and the bumper bracket. So yeah guys, let me know what you guys think, how this thing tur turned out and um, I'll show you guys during the daylight that we can see um, in more detail how this thing turned out. If you haven't subscribed, remember to subscribe, hit that little icon right here in the corner and subscribe guys see you guys in the next video